energy at a distance continued. Found this video will be in the description or in the comments down below. And it is a little bit tough to follow. <laughs> it's also a touch of uh, what would be hours and weeks of classroom time. Just touching on points across this presentation this man has done. It is about radio waves, radio frequencies being transmitted from your neighbor, from a tower, from a cell phone. It, it shows, speaks, walks through the calculations that a ham radio operator should go through to certify his antenna and his safety. This is much like wearing a mask where you're protecting your neighbors from potential harm. It's as simple as a mask. It is also an FCC requirement, a federal rule for the use of federally regulated and licensed airwaves. Frequencies, spectrums sold to companies and businesses, spectrums leased to those entities in order to conduct business. And on the side of this are amateurs. And if you know these people, a lot of them are not amateurs. They're very good at what they do and enjoy what they're doing. It's a hobby. It is also a listening post. It is a waypoint. It is an amplifier. So these ham radio operators are uh, key citizens out there in the global scheme of things, across the globe. That, they're talking to each other across the globe. Some of them can sit and listen to uh, satellite communications and pirate satellites and all kinds of stories out there about radio waves. What the FCC licenses and controls for the general health and safety and profitability of corporations and then people, or is it people then corporations? So it, this is what the institution of the FCC is supposed to do, besides protect the profits of uh, we have the most expensive internet in the planet, even though federally we've paid for the infrastructure for the bulk of these corporations to keep grifting on us, we have the most expensive internet that I've found in the planet. So, FCC rules about spectrum use and spectrum management is a huge endeavor. You could go into be a, a a lawyer just in that specific field. You could be an engineer in RF towers, those things that look like trees off in the distance now, well camouflaged and hidden for the uh, masses to not worry about. Those require these energy at a distance equations to be used for EMF radio waves, electromotive force. Now, to just make this purely simple, the risk from a microwave, which operates at 2.1 watahertz, you can go find this information. That is what used to be termed, it no longer is, for many different reasons, a radar frequency. So it's very useful. It resonates with water and heats it up. That's a fact. That's what it does. So that's a consideration, energy at a distance. And you do have a right to understand these things and try to manage it and make sure that our institutions are protecting us reasonably well. Reasonably, you know, there's always that shadow of doubt. Nothing is perfect. So anyway, take a listen to this video. This applies to all types of energies being moved around, these equations, whether something is an acid or a base, or if it is a, what do they call, other little wormy things that weasel their ways into metal. Ions, ions, what's an ion among friends? Anyway, peace is out, hope you enjoy. Thanks, but this other video is a bit long.
and you can replicate it yourself. You can go to the website, do the equations yourself, try to figure out how they work, what and why they work. I noticed the frequency reference he referenced were low. If you look at 5G frequencies, they're above what he's working in. Different area, different domain, same rules, pieces out.